me. It stinks when you put it on, but it's good. Hello folks, well what am I up to today? I'm putting in the sound deadening over the motor compartment at the back of the combi and I'm just laying strips down because I want to put um, insulation over the top so I'll just show you here Right, so these are the strips I'm laying down and I'm laying them down in between <coughs> the ridges here so, um, so virtually almost dead flat right across with the um, insulation on top. So I'm going to lay these. Got a little bit more to do over here. Um, this one here I've cut a bit thinner because this is where the cabinet, all the cabinet componentry will sit above there. So I've just got these ones to do and just a couple to go in the corner here under the cabinet, possibly. I was going to check that out. But anyway, crack on with it. Measured out my sheets to 34 inches front to back and inside the channels it's um, 65 um, millimeters across. I know it's a mixture of inches and centimeters, but that's why I was brought up. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll crack on. I've got to cut out of this some more to go across here, so we'll do that. Right. This is the end result of me putting the sound deadening over the top of where the motor is. So I've put these strips in here. You don't have to do them in every, every one like I've done. You can do every so many if you want. Um, and also where the spare wheel arches, I'll put some new sheets and on the side there just to soften that up a bit. So that is it. The next step is to put the um, insulation down on here, which will be good. Alright, now I'll put the um, insulation all on and cover the area where the squab's going to go down. <coughs> also put some foil tape around here, down the side. Where it's down the side here, I've done it like this so that I can, there is a compartment under here which has got the jack and everything else so if I take the mattress off I can then lift this up and it will just come up and I, I can have access to, to that area so that's why I've done it like that I have put a little bit of four tape here but I can peel that off when I go in so that's, that's all done it's um, foil with 10mm um, closed cell so it should be nice and comfortable and very, very quiet, which is what we want. So I'll just go and put the squab on now. And there's the squab in place. So, um, yeah, that's that part done. So I've got to go ahead and do the, the main bed part, the rock and roll bed part, and do this panel along the side here, which is going to form the back panel to, there it is over there actually, um, it's going to form the back panel to all the cabinetry, so I've got to get this taken outside and get all, it's all been cut to shape, to go over the wheel arch, and I'm going to take it outside and, and start spray painting it to match the cabinetry.
Now guys, this is why you should always have a smart wife behind you. <laughs> because I was having a bit of an issue with the flooring to go underneath the, um, the rock and roll bed. I'm trying to get it underneath the two brackets. I'll just show you what I mean. Here's the two brackets I'm talking about. This one here and this one over here. Um, I couldn't get this whole panel tucked in underneath without it hitting the flooring and um, see it's pretty well right up close to each end so I was wondering how I was going to do it and then along came my very clever wife and she said why don't you just split it through the middle and put one half in that way and one half in that way so there you go that's the way I'm going to do it. Yeah, so thank you wife for that one. Um, makes my job a little bit easier. Nicola's mother. Um, she is quite an amazing woman, really. Um, unfortunately, she's passed away. And um, Anyway, she had her kitchen lino floor redone. And she must have known something because... When I got the flooring for the combi, this is what she had replaced in her dining room kitchen, um, the lino flooring. And it's so close to the combi flooring, I'm going to use it actually in, in the combi. Have a look at this. And there it is there. Um, now there's the combi flooring. So by the time the board goes across there, it's not going to make that much of a difference. Um, may bring it down there as well but that's that's pretty close it's pretty good so I'm quite happy with that so I will use that in the um, in the garage part underneath the rock and roll bed in the combi so um, yeah really pleased with that so thank you to Carol so as you can see the last time the floor is down the garage part is done we're just trimming the front panel and cabinets have arrived and I was just filming when this guy here you might recognize him from Doug with his camper if he is actually doing all the cabinets I've got the, the expert on the job is that right? The expert where? where? here where? where? <laughs> Okay, so all the cabinets are now in place. This is the cubby hole area, which is going to have a little shelf just below that. Um, so the drawers now in. Um, what I'm going to do is this liner I've got here, which is very similar to this. Um, I'm going to trim this off, tidy this up a bit. And I'm also going to put some down in here which is this is another cubby hole area which in fact I'll go around um, so you can see I've just chucked it in here but here there'll be a hatch that opens up um, so I'll be able to go down through the hatch and compartment in here so I'm just going to line this and probably line the bottom of that one as well before the shelf goes on so I'll get cracking. Right, the next task at hand is I'm going to slip this timber down here and back there because in there I want to put the uh, upholstered panel in there. So it'll go up to here so when the rock and roll bed is in the up lounge position that there will also match what will be on the back of this sliding door when it's pulled across. So, um, I'm going to have an attempt at slipping this and we'll see how we get on. Ooh. I had no idea that you're wobbling like this. <coughs> Usually it's me that wobbles, but um, you guys are wobbling like crazy. 
so I'll shift the camera I think so that's that's the line I'm trying to cut out so having a bit of fun oh, we'll get there enough there it is all right I've got to put clean this up and put some sound deadening in this battle there to stop that noise so I think we'll uh, start with that be a lot easier right With the sound deadening you just pull the backing off, it's very sticky and the printed side stays out. Now I've got my sound deadening all in here, it doesn't have to cover every square inch um, on these. Oops, I cut my finger. Don't know how I did that. But anyway, um, after you put your sound deadening on, best to get a roller and roll it in so it stays nice and firm. So I've cleaned it with acetone. <coughs> Excuse me. Cleaned it with acetone. And then I've measured and cut off any sheets I need. You don't, as I say, you don't have to cover the whole area. And then I'm going to now go and get the roller and I'm going to roll this into the panel. So I'll do that now. I'm trying not to not to move the vehicle too much because the screen keeps shaking. There, but I've got my roller. It's a nice steel roller, quite strong. I'm just going to push these in. You are shaking, aren't you? Now, time for me to put some insulation over the top. So we'll do that next. And it's a 10mm pro cell insulation, four on one side, sticky on the other. And we will stick that on top of this dead matting here. Fill up that cavity a bit. All right. Well, something I found deep in the bowels of the um, wall here. I was just cleaning it out and I found a bit of paper and I've got a receipt here so if you went to Woolworths on looks like the 1st of January 1977 and you spent looks like a whole dollar and three cents um, you bought two items by looks one for 69 cents one for uh, 34 cents um, from Woolworths um, yeah I've got your receipt if you need it so another thing I do when I'm clearing out cavities in the, in the combi um, before I close them all up again I give them a spray it's a treatment it's called rust guard but it's also a fish oil as well so I use this product here and um, yeah, give it a good spraying in there. It doesn't smell too bad. In fact, the smell disappears really quick. But at least I know it'll be all protected. So, I'm going to do that now. Before I forget. Deep within the bowels we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
It stinks when you put it on, but it's good. <laughs> right, now here is a handy hint. If you're putting in this stuff and you're putting it into cavities, don't rip all the backing off, the sticky backing, because it, it gets stuck, you're going to have a problem. So what I do is I do it like this. I'm going to do what I call a dry fit. So here we go. Right, so I want to put this piece in that cavity. So I haven't taken the backing off. And what I'm doing is just shoving it in the cavity all the way along to see if it will fit in there, which it does. Lovely. So that's what you call a dry fit. You just take it out and then you slowly start taking the backing off because it's very sticky. Okay, I have now got this fully done. It's had soundproofing put on and insulation put in. Okay, another little trick when you're using tape. If you cut long pieces off it and go long piece and you peel the backing off, what happens is that it wants to curl. Now, in order to make it so that it's easy to put in, what you do is you bend your tape in half just a little bit like that. And now, it's not curling, but it's rigid. So you can now press this in against what you want to do instead of it curling all over the place. Just a little handy hint. So that's about it for this week working on the combi. Um, be some more coming up next week and you'll actually see me go crazy with a knife more details next week you'll see it sad really it's really sad bye